everyone. We had a great holiday weekend and we hope you did too. Today, we've got a bit more about vermiculture. Barb just gave us so much good info that the goodness is spilling over in today's episode. We'll give you some helpful hints on how to dramatically reduce your household waste, find a use for junk mail, and get your hands on some of that sweet, sweet black gold. No compost. So you want to decrease the smell. And one way to do that is to put shredded newspaper on top. And this is a newspaper that I get, all that junk mail you get every day, people trying to get you to buy stuff with all their coupons. The worms are gonna eat it, they love it. So go ahead and shred that up and put it on top. And the reason that we shred it is so that we get air circulating inside. We don't want it to be really smelly and compact. So the other thing that the paper does is decreases flies. So um, in order for maggots to appear, which we don't want, they're not bad. They're just not very attractive. A little, a little scary. Exactly. Little yeah, people probably won't compost if they see mm -hmm. lots of them. You want um, shredded paper all the way up at the top because mm -hmm. what um, flies do is they need space to fly around and drop their uh, eggs, and those eggs will become the maggots. So if you have paper all the way to the top, that should decrease it. So now, as a visual, every time you want to put food in, you go ahead and move the paper away and drop in the food. To make your compost go faster or have an environment where things start rotting quickly, the fungus and bacteria are going crazy, you want things pretty small. So if you put in things like this or like this, it's going to take a really long time for them. Have a long wait for that whole potato. Exactly. This could be months mm -hmm. for this. Um, so the best thing to do is just break it apart. If you don't want to do that, that's totally fine. They'll eventually rot, the worms will eat, will eat it, and everything will eventually look like this. This has probably been about four or five months. So if you go ahead and throw in a coffee cup like this, the worms will eat all the paper and this is what you're gonna be left with. It's just the plastic that's left over. It's so much less to throw away. Exactly. The one thing that you should do with any kind of paper product like this is that you need to give it a little tear. And that gives surface and edge for the worms to start chomping on. As you can see, see all the fibers mm -hmm. right here? Fibers exposed like this are going to um, mold a lot faster. If you're going to put anything that you know has plastic in it, just do one tear like this so you can easily find it and pull the whole thing out. Bon voyage, paper cup. <laughs> we had some good times, but now we're through. <laughs> so your bottom tier of the Wrigley Ranch, you'll find a little spout right here. Mm -hmm. And um, this basically is a collection for water, this bottom one right here. As you can see on the bottom, no. there's no holes. Whereas if you look on the bottom of one of these, you'll find tons of holes. The water is going to fall through and collect on the bottom, and we like to call that compost tea. So it's a brown water, it's high in nutrients, and you can put that right on your plants. Nice. And you don't want the water to sit and stagnate because that'll really smell. Sure. Mold will grow on the top, it's not pleasant. And you'll also see tons of sprouts. This is what things want to grow in. Yeah, this they're, they're, is, they can't wait. Exactly, this is the vitamins, the nutrients they've been waiting for. Mm -hmm. So any seeds that you have, like just say you threw in a watermelon and it had a bunch of seeds in it, mm -hmm. they're gonna start sprouting wow. eventually. Squash, love it. You're gonna, you'll be able to just take these and put them in your garden or put them in little planters and they'll just start growing. Also, as just wanted to quickly say that the, another reason why there's holes besides things falling through is so that the worms can travel from one layer to the other. Yeah. So about the Go bottom one where the eaten's good. Exactly, because they don't want to hang out in their own poop for too long. Yeah, who does? <laughs> exactly. So they'll climb up to the next one, and it usually takes them about three months to climb from here to here. I should say most of the worms will go. Mm -hmm. Some of them like to hang out in the poop. Yeah. We always get a few of those guys. Exactly. 